Welcome back to Duda Dojo, your source for the latest Duda news, platform how to's, and product updates. I'm Jessica, and this week I'm joined by two of our strategic design team members to discuss how we migrate websites into the Duda system. So let's jump right in. Christiana and Matt, we are here to talk about website migrations, migrating websites into the Duda system. So before we jump into the advantages that RivalMind brings to our clients when we migrate these websites, we should probably explain a little bit what a migration mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So I'll start. You guys can jump in. <laughs> um, so really, when we migrate a website, the idea is that we're bringing that same design concept from a previous CMS into a new CMS. And in this case, we do it in Duda. Mm -hmm. So, and the goal is to match one for one so the design can look as close to the original uh, website. But we should talk about why we do this, um, the advantage of this, you know, uh, from an SEO perspective, a design perspective, a functionality perspective. So Matt, I am totally going to dig into your brain first. <laughs> you know, let's talk about like, what are the SEO advantages of uh, migrating a website and what are the development advantages of migrating this website? Yeah. I mean, first and foremost, you're, you're getting, this is a new website. Mm -hmm. So like there, are, there are times where we've talked with clients and, you know, we have to break their hearts a little bit because it's not, there is no copy paste. Mm -hmm. There's no pro programmatic, mm -hmm. like, oh, can it just like, poof, magically exist now in this new CMS. Yeah, you can't just like no. suck the yeah. information <laughs> right. in and then it's good to go. I yeah. also wish that that was the case, but <laughs> yeah. it's just not the case. It's, yeah. a, it's a new website. So mm -hmm. being able to take, you're looking for the functionality and the freshness of the of the code mm -hmm. so that you're not dealing with an old, you know, forgive my terminology, like worn out or mm -hmm. bloated website. Mm -hmm. So but you're you're skipping the design portion of it. Mm. So essentially the design already exists, but now you get the the new functionality that's available and the new speed and performance that's available, especially with Duda, sure. um, being able to utilize everything that's at our fingertips for for an SEO standpoint and things like that mm -hmm. um, without without going into design. So yeah. that's that's the basic like that's migration versus redesign. Right. Yeah. I mean, and you mentioned bloated. I know immediately what you mean. Yeah. So just a bunch of code in there that's not necessary. It weighs down the site, throws errors. Talk to me about like, so for someone who has never migrated or doesn't understand moving a website from one system to another, mm -hmm. moving it, I keep saying moving it, really redesigning it. <laughs> sure. Like what, what is eliminated and what are those advantages when you mention like code or speed? Yeah. And so you can jump in on this mm -hmm. too, Chris, but like there's, there's a ton of builders out there. Mm -hmm. So as, as technology has moved forward, people want to be able to interact with their own website. Mm -hmm. Like gone are the days of people wanting to have their own developer and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. interact with them. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there's there's a lot of challenges. My, that that <laughs> comment of, might make people right, upset, but right. I mean, it there's is There's a lot of true. challenges to, do, to, yeah. to doing that and, yeah. and having your website. But like at this point, we're trying to empower our clients to be able to utilize mm -hmm. their website as a marketing tool. Yeah. And so like bloated is really like putting a builder on say a WordPress website, mm -hmm. which allows lay people, you yeah. know, like us. right, Some mere us. mortals like yeah, us yeah, yeah. to be able to interact with the website mm -hmm. without ha having to know a programming language. Sure. Um, what that does, especially for the WordPress builders that we're familiar we're familiar with, like mm -hmm. Elementor, WP Bakery, all yeah. of those things, it adds all of this capability. But all of the things that you don't use are yeah. also added in the code to your site. True, and so yeah. that's immediately like mm -hmm. we, you know we've spoken about speed in the past. It's just bytes that are being loaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So if there's a bunch of stuff that's on there that you're not using you're still loading it. It's yeah. also very overwhelming for our clients yeah. and just designers um, ourselves. Like when I'm in WordPress, I'm like, okay, what kind of builder are they using? Mm -hmm. Now I had to learn, um, relearn how to use that um, builder. And um, it just like, it's a lot of um, overwhelming process. That man, yeah. that's such a great point because yeah. like even, even me who at this point is mm -hmm. pretty well versed, I've been in a lot of different For CMSs. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still struggle, yep. you know, in with some of these builders to try to figure out what it is mm -hmm. that, that I want to do. And yeah. all I really want to do is like 
change the shape of this text or like, can I make this image a little bit bigger? Like any of that stuff. So honestly, like, I think that's the biggest answer to your question. Mm -hmm. Like, what are the advantages? The advantages are you can interact with your website the way that you would like to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Chris, you're often on the receiving end of Mm -hmm. as the designer, once we, you know, a project manager gets everything packed up and sends it over to you. So you're the one who is actually trying to do Mm -hmm. the one for one match. Talk to me about your experience migrating websites. Mm -hmm. Do you love it? I I just, I love migrated websites. You know, we were talking earlier and it's just, it's, It's so easy to do. We don't have to have Mm -hmm. a kickoff meeting. We don't have, you mentioned, branding to go through. Mm -hmm. We can just get in and get out. And it's the same content, but just in a slightly maybe new flavor. So talk to me about your experience with that. And um, how do you make a decision when you're about to... uh, you know, build something, but it ha- you have to use different functionality mm-hmm. because it doesn't exist previously. So, so I do love migrations because yeah. you can easily see a big jump in um, usability and visual uh, um, appeal. Mm. And it's like I also kind of dislike it because it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't mess with the branding right, too they, much. They yeah. got handcuffs on you because yeah. <laughs> somebody else designed this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So with, with that in mind, I'm careful about the uh, existing brand. Mm. Um, but I also look and look for ways to make sure um, to I, how can I enhance the look, the existing look. Mm. So I make sure like, oh, I can I can do this kind of color. That's not over, too overwhelming. Sure. I keep the client's existing brand, the key point, the key focus, mm-hmm. but I sneak some things in <laughs> yeah. um, just to make the flow of the site even better. Um, but it's also like very, um, the difference between. Um, like the original and the new existing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that, that is so satisfying to see. And you can easily tell that it's more. Um, better user experience yeah. Yeah. when I when you build in Duda versus like a WordPress. One of the things yeah. that we're consistently talking about with with clients when we're talking about doing this is mm-hmm. we're not going to bend over backwards mm-hmm. to make something function as poorly as it does right now. <laughs> yes. Like so anywhere where there's, you know, because you are going from one system to another mm-hmm. and you know, whether that widget doesn't exist or something that's like we can't match a one for one. Yeah. It's always an upgrade. Yeah. It's always yeah. something that we do that, you know, it responds to whatever the content is, but it's going to be better mm-hmm. than what it is that you have right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so the 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 key, the the thing that we're talking around here is like this is cost effective. Yeah. Right. It's cost effective because you don't have to reimagine the mm-hmm. design. You don't mm-hmm. have to do all the strategy, the depth of strategy that we normally are doing. Mm-hmm. Like people are like, I don't dislike my design. I just know that my website is, yep. is having functional problems. Yeah, errors, security issues, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All of that stuff that we're we're continually talking about people, you know, this is a this is a common request yeah. at Rival Mind. Yeah. Like I, you know, I I I'm okay with the design, but I'm just struggling to either be able to manipulate the content yep. in yep. the way that I want to. Or the SEO team. Right. You know, it's there's yeah. so many functional issues issues that we're struggling to perform SEO on it. Right. I mean, we just had a situation where it's like, literally, we're just trying to add a contact form Mm -hmm. to this page and we can't make it look the way that it should. Like, which, you know, to to our minds, it's like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how how are we finding ourselves into this situation? Yeah. But again, like that's, those are the elements that, that make this something that's Pers- we should pursue yeah. mm-hmm. because we know that your website should be a marketing tool mm-hmm. that you're able to use. Yep. And if if that's not the case, well, that's a problem. Right. Mm-hmm. We should change that. Yeah. The the key to the migration is like we it it can be truncated in time, mm-hmm. can be truncated in cost because we know what needs to be there. Like we just need to move it from here to here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there is no carbon copy. Yeah. And yeah. the client doesn't have to be as heavily involved. We can get in and do the work and say, yeah. here's your website. You know, I want to focus on a project that I think turned out beautifully. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, I would say, to date, my favorite migration. So I'm going to get ready to share Alpine Demolition. But both of you talk me through um, what was your take on the experience? I know that you got the client to finally essentially migrate. Mm-hmm. And then when you and I yeah. worked on it, I know you, you have something to say about that. Yeah. But like, 
um, we kind of made it better yeah. overall. So talk to me about that experience and then I'll jump in here and share this here. Yeah. So that, I mean, Alpine is a, is still an SEO client of ours mm -hmm. and the, the, scenario that I was building before is exactly what was happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be able to do location pages. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be able to deploy a an SEO strategy. And we were just kind of limited by, and mm -hmm. it, this was a WordPress website that we built way back. Sure. And just what we know at this point, what our what our SEO team is capable of in mm -hmm. the Duda system, like mm -hmm. we just didn't have that at our fingertips. Yeah. And so that was the pitch. Yeah. Hey, look, you know, and it's not like we weren't uh, performing well from an SEO standpoint. Mm -hmm. We just knew that we could take it to the next level yeah. mm -hmm. by being able to create location pages at speed, mm -hmm. being able to add content yep. is the name Easily of the game. Easily add content, manipulate, mm -hmm. build in some keyword content. Yep. It's I, yeah. I remember the original website and I just remember the text and content just being really blown out. That's mm -hmm. right. And like mm -hmm. in your face. Mm -hmm. um, it was not appealing. It was very, <laughs> yeah. It was very long um, scrolls for users and yeah, it needed a really big refresh. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to jump over here. So Chris, feel mm -hmm. free to jump uh, yeah. or just kind of talk through this. So the part I'm focused on right now is the new section. Mm -hmm. um, so we've obviously added some elements. We don't yep. have the before here. Um, people can see the before in our case studies, which is linked in the resources in the video description. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just a really fun section. So I want to start here, but I'm going to zip back up to the top. So Talk me through mm -hmm. this, like our thinking here and this overall concept. So Alpine is um, one of our longest um, clients we had. Mm -hmm. And I was asked to migrate the site, but there's no pressure. But <laughs> I felt a lot of pressure. <laughs> Why do you feel pressure, Chris? <laughs> Just those words like, oh, I need to really impress our clients. Yeah. No um, pressure, but make yeah. this look amazing. No and pressure, I was, but pressure. I yeah, was yeah. still new to Rival Mine as well. So I had to learn Duda mm -hmm. um, and make something really cool in the system. Mm -hmm. So um, we, I used this chance to introduce some new fonts and new colors that you still use their existing colors yep. of course mm -hmm. yeah um and really like hone in on the fact that they do a lot of demolition and construction mm -hmm. and you can see that as you scroll through the site yep yep i love it mm -hmm. yeah such so just cool textures and layers yep. and uh, colors and I mean this section the areas we service made it is, much easier for the SEO to build location pages. exactly yep. yep easier to maintain it just add a link content and a link you don't have to you're on a different mm -hmm. system where you have to find the block and you hope the block exists on that page if not it exists somewhere else because mm -hmm. uh Duda is what you see is what you get a much easier scroll and you can see the content in your face yeah and you it doesn't take too long to find what you're looking for mm -hmm. yeah love this so I guess kind of in closing, what would you guys say is the, if a client were listening to this or someone was considering migrating their website into a system, AKA the Duda system, what would you say high level, what is the advantages over, I mean, we talked about like SEO, but what would you say to like kind of bring that home? Yeah, it's it's making it be cost effective. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you are, you know, if you don't hate your current website design yeah. um, and clients are all over the map with mm -hmm. that. Some mm -hmm. people come to us like, gosh, I'm sick of looking at this. Yeah. Yeah. But some people are like, ah, I mean, like we we redesigned three years ago sure. mm -hmm. and we don't hate the design. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that actually gives us the opportunity again to make it so that it's cheaper, yeah. it's cost effective because we don't have to go through the design process. Mm -hmm. And then it's also, it truncates the progress, like it, or truncates the process. Mm -hmm. Like we can make it go faster mm -hmm. because we don't have all of those same types of interaction points as we would on a normal redesign. Yeah. Like you said before, we can, we can see what's there and we can go to work mm -hmm. figuring out like, how do we make it be as close mm -hmm. as possible to a carbon copy without there being any yeah. stupid things. Yeah. Yeah. I would tell a client, if you want a better flow to your site, if you want to access your content much easier, migrating your site to Duda is the way to go. Yeah. Right. And then, like we said, like it gives our team the the, co the capabilities yep. in the Duda system that we know and love that then makes it so that we can we can deploy SEO strategies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Far and, away, yeah, far and away, yeah, far and away, better than any other CMS, which is just another factor of success for our clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so awesome! Thank you, guys. I love migrations. <laughs> I love talking about migrations. This was the best. Thanks. Oh, hey. 
Didn't see you there. If you like this video, be sure to try out this one or subscribe to our channel.